Hi, this is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rise and Tarot. Here to do another weekend energy update for the sign of Cancer. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Cancer. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming through for you guys this week. Alright, so you're in this place where you feel like you don't have enough. You feel like things are not working out for you. You feel like money is definitely a problem you could have a, a lacking mindset when it comes to a family dynamic and you're choosing to look on the bright side of things you're going to choose a different part this time around a child may be involved or you're trying to change your perspective on a situation and as soon as you change that energy that is around you the universe is going to gift you with a lot of wonderful things Money may be one of the things, as well as other abundance, love, family, home. Things are definitely going to be moving into place for you very soon. Spirit messages for my cancers. All right, so you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but this person is in their feelings. They're not being very rational right now as regards to decision making and their decisions are made with emotions rather than logic. But you're giving up on this relationship. You're feeling like there is no growth in this connection. Like there is nothing that you want to build on, nothing that you want to hold on to. Yeah, you haven't walked away physically yet, but I think you have done so emotionally. Because you may be in love with someone else. Or you may be in that place where you're trying to love yourself more than this person. You're trying to do some self-love and self-care. Yeah, because you're tired of the up and down, the in and out with this person. Could be an Aries Leo or Sag you're dealing with. You could have this in your chart or they in their chart. But you feel like your hands are tied in a situation. You feel like there is nothing more you can do for this person. You feel like this is a waste of your time. Could be a Virgo some of you are connecting to. But what it is is really happening to you, Cancer, is that you're going through a spiritual awakening. I think uh, last week's reading said so. Yeah. Yeah. And you're in this place right now where you're making decisions with your head over your heart. You're being very discerning. Um, you're communicating what it is you want. And it's like you're not budging from whatever decision you have made. Because you're opening up to love. You're opening up to um, being more loving and caring and kind to yourself. Mm -hmm. You may be connecting to an Aquarius. But you see someone as your wish fulfillment. You want someone that does make you very happy. You see this person to be very single, very independent. <laughs> ah. And someone that is definitely, they can't take care of themselves. Now you're ready to offer them love. You're ready to go towards them and offer them a relationship. 
but you're back and forth in your own mind. You know what you want. It's just the action to take towards it. It's, it's lacking. Now, you want the truth. You want to be truthful to this person. You want a new beginning with this person. You want a long-term commitment with this person. You want even marriage for some of you with this person. But after... Uh, but the mere fact that you are going through a spiritual awakening, you are always unsure of something these days. So you're not trusting yourself very much. Your realizations and your epiphanies and stuff like that, it's shaking you to your very core. Something is definitely crumbling in your life to cause a uh, awakening to happen. Now, the Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius you're dealing with, this person is very emotional. They are in their emotions. They tend to be very irrational. But you're trying to hold it together. Although you do want to move towards someone else, you're trying to hold it together. Because you don't want an ending to happen with this person. You care for them. You do love them. But you had to speak your truth. You had to put your cards on the table for this person because whatever they were doing or however they were acting were making you very unhappy. Yeah, you feel stuck and stagnant in this relationship. You feel like there is no growth potential here. You feel like this is just over. Yeah, you don't want to reconnect with this person. Could be a Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer or a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. You have stopped trying to communicate with this person. You have stopped trying to get this person to change the way they think and the way they see things. Because you know you have other options. You know there is a lot of confusion in this person's mind and you're not willing to keep going over and over again with them. There is an Aries Leo or Sag that you're probably connecting to. You could have this in your chart or you probably see a fire sign as one of your options. But you see this person as someone that lives their life very vicariously. This person is very easygoing, outspoken, follows their passion. But this person has gone through a lot. Could be a Libra or a Taurus you're dealing with as well. But this person didn't have it easy. They had a lot of challenges and you see them as coming out as someone refined and someone that can stand up against anything. And because of this, you admire this person. But this person brings you a lot of happiness. They bring you a lot of comfort. You feel like home when you're with them. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, for some of you, it could definitely be a Sagittarius you're connecting to. But you want some type of balance in this situation. You want some type of healing and restoration here. But sometimes this person may come off a little bit controlling actually plenty bit controlling and manipulative and argumentative but there is a soul tie connection between the both of you there is this pull towards this person no matter what they do and no matter what they say and you just can't explain it it's like where you're at it's not where you want to be you want to be with this person no matter how challenging things may be yeah so you're going to make a decision sooner or later to try to go back towards this person. You're not sure as to how it will work out yet for you, but you miss them. You want to be with them. For some of you, this could be a past life connection. Um, for others of you, this is someone coming back from your past or you trying to go back to someone from your past. yep because you feel stuck you're stuck on this person you have a lot of regrets about what happened in the connection and in the relationship yeah but you're not sure how this person will receive you 
whatever happened with you and this person, you may have been deceptive to them. Now you're ready to tell them the truth. I'm not sure if they are going to reciprocate you. But I know your intentions is to go back towards this person. Mm -hmm. But you're standing your ground. So you're coming off very defensive. But what it is you want with this person is long-term stability. You want something solid and stable. You don't want um, just a casual relationship. You want this person to be committed to you. You want them to commit to you. Spirit, what is the most likely outcome for my cancers in this situation? Most likely outcome for my cancers in this situation. The most likely outcome for my cancers in this specific situation. So I'm going to tell you now it's not going to be easy. This person may be loyal to you. They may have a lot of love for you. They may actually hold you in high regards. But they're not going to make it easy. There is going to be a lot of challenges ahead of you and this person. But in the end, know that they have your back. Know that they do want something with you. But to get to this place where you guys have good potential and things will work out for you it will be a little bit challenging because eventually things will work out but for now yeah there is a lot that this relationship needs to go through before it can transform into what it needs to be all right so this is what i have for you guys i hope it helps have a good one